Number one, comparing the subatomic particles of tritium and helium. So we have one proton, two neutrons, and one electrons for tritium, two, two, two for helium. So we can see that the number of neutrons for them are the same, two each. Number two, ammonium ion. What is the bonding like? Now, for NH3, ammonia, we know that there's one lone pair on the nitrogen atom and on the hydrogen ion there is actually no electrons in a way. So what happens will be this lone pair will be forming a coordinate bond with the hydrogen ion. So represented by C. Aluminium extraction. It is a recall question. We know that the anode is made of graphite and cathode is also made of graphite. The useful thing to remember is also for some questions that it require you to know that the oxygen produced at the anode will react with the carbon um, electrode to form carbon dioxide. Okay. But this question we just need to recall that they are both carbon electrodes. Number four, how can we change the value of the equilibrium constant? Adding concentrated sulfuric acid as catalyst, a catalyst will not affect the Kc, it will just allow the equilibrium to be reached faster. Increasing the initial concentration, okay, changing the concentration will not change the Kc also, it will just shift the equilibrium to the left or to the right. Lowering the temperature, temperature affects Kc, so we have to check both options C and D. In general, Kc is the concentration of products over the concentration of reactants under equilibrium. And if we lower the temperature, we know that the forward reaction is exothermic. By lowering the temperature, the equilibrium will actually shift towards the exothermic side. So you will shift to the right. What happens will be the products will be increasing and the reactants will subsequently decrease in ratio. So overall ratio, when the equilibrium shift to the right, your Kc will be increasing. Okay. If you were to check option D, raising the temperature, the equilibrium will shift towards the endothermic direction, which is to the left side. So what happens for option D is, the products will decrease, your reactants will increase, your Kc will actually decrease for option D, which is not what we want. Number five, manufacture of ammonia. What can we do to increase the equilibrium yield? Option A, if we add more catalyst, it will just give us the same yield. Okay, equilibrium will just be achieved faster. Increasing the pressure, this is the answer. Why does increase the pressure gives us increased yield? Because the equilibrium will shift towards the side that has less gas molecules to reduce the pressure. So they will shift to the right side. And we'll get more yield of ammonia. Increasing temperature, it will shift to the side where it is endothermic direction. The forward direction is exothermic it will shift to the left side, endothermic. So increasing the temperature will decrease the yield of ammonia. If we use air rather than nitrogen, in other words, we will get a less concentrated nitrogen rather than p using pure nitrogen. So when the concentration of nitrogen decreases, we will get the equilibrium shifting to the left side. Number six, Boltzmann distribution. The one in black is the original curve drawn. What happens when we reduce the temperature? When we reduce the temperature, the peak will shift to the left side and the peak will be higher. 
so we'll get a curve that's shown on the by the blue curve so what happens to the points x y and z x will be located here so it'll be higher y will be here lower and z will also be lower number seven titanium reacts with the mineral or titanium reacts with carbon and then we get titanium being extracted and carbon monoxide so what is the enthalpy change of this reaction in general we are given heat of formation here so in general heat of formation of products minus heat of formation of reactants will get heat of reaction so we have products being carbon monoxide and because there's a 2 here we multiply by 2 times so 2 multiplied by 110 minus heat of formation of titanium oxide there's one more here so we only need to multiply by 1 and then when we use our calculator we'll get plus 720 okay. notice that the titanium element and the carbon element are not involved because heat of formation of elements is defined as zero or anyway. Number eight, which reaction has an enthalpy change equal to formation of propane? So propane is formed by carbon and hydrogen, and hydrogen in its elemental form will be H2. So it's between C and D, okay. and also A. Right, this hydrogen is not in its standard form. Carbon should be in solid form, so A will also be out. And then finally is the states of the propane. A rule of thumb is the first four members of the alkane family are gases at room temperature. So up to butane will be gases at room temperature standard conditions this liquid is wrong number nine we have a two-step reaction being described because we know that the intermediate there is an intermediate form as because it's described as being isolated compared to they say that a uh, transition state is formed then we have a one-step reaction okay this is an intermediate so what we have to see is look for the graph that has two steps two humps okay this is one step one step this is two step okay so B and C are out and then between the two steps we have to check that X becoming Y the heat of reaction is positive so Y is located higher than X Y becoming Z is negative, that means Z is lower than Y. So that's described by the graph A. Okay, here X to Y is a negative change, Y to Z is a positive change. Okay. 